Hello everyone, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat History Channel. And today we are doing part two of three of the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Flavor Boost. Today is the Ranch Edition. As you might recall, the first one was Buffalo Flavor. And that was a, a spicy buffalo wing sauce type flavor. And today is Ranch. If you don't know, the flavor ranch was invented by the Hidden Valley Company. Um, if you're wondering why Hidden Valley Ranch is always like the most nostalgic, best tasting ranch, it's because they invented it. Um, this being a craft product most likely uses craft ranch, which is an inferior product, but it's all right. It's not the worst ranch I've had. But anyway. Some of the flavorings in here, not all the ingredients, but some of them are buttermilk powder, sour cream, onion powder, sugar, garlic powder, non-fat milk, lactic acid, parsley, yeast extract, vinegar solids, um, natural flavor, spice, enzyme modified butter, citric acid, and some other things that probably don't have much flavor, but are probably a preservative or anti-caking agent. Speaking of anti-caking agents, when I was making this, um, I remember to my youth, and when I used to have these, when my parents used to make box macaroni and cheese, I always remember like at least having one or two like big clumps of the cheese powder that kind of just got wet on the outside and formed a ball around the interior. And when you were eating, sometimes you'd get one of those in your in your bowl, your plate. Like this explosion of the, the cheese powder flavor. But uh, none of the ones I've made so far recently have had that. So maybe the anti caking stuff is, is a newer pro product or maybe just an improved product. But anyway, let's go ahead and try this. This is the Flavor Boost Ranch Edition. Here's what it looks like. Color-wise, the cheese color hasn't changed much, but there are green flecks all in it. Not sure if you can see that in there. The smell when I poured this in here, very ranchy. It's like a Cool Ranch Doritos smell to it. Yep, it's like that Cool Ranch Dorito flavor. You get those sour creamy, buttermilk, vinegar, cultured butter. All those aspects, the little little tang, that little zip. It says per serving there's less than a gram of sugar. With sugar in the list of ingredients, and I can tell that this is mildly sweet. If you remember the the Canadian flavor boost, they have cotton candy, which shockingly turned the whole bowl neon pink. That one. Um, even though it was a sweet flavor it was going for, it actually wasn't like dramatically sweet. This one almost has the same level of sweetness. It's 
I think the edit to kind of uh, play off the tangy, sour flavors that are going on here. Which I guess is okay because you don't want it to be just sour. Sweet and sour kind of go pretty well together. So you kind of cut that vinegariness with this touch of sugar. This is pretty good. I think I do like it better than the buffalo one. If I was going to recommend, I would try again. This would be the one. But, there's one more flavor. And that's pizza. If you just love pizza, we will find out on the next video in this series if pizza macaroni tastes any good. Oddly enough, I have had pizza that had macaroni and cheese as a topping. So now I'm going to have the converse of that. Or is it inverse? Either one. I'm going to have the Swisheroon, where instead of a pizza with macaroni and cheese on top, I'm going to have the macaroni and cheese that is flavored to taste like pizza. Now, that's the end of this review here. Uh, thank you, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you wish. But let me leave with one other thing. So I bought a big box of these uh, macaroni and cheese boxes because uh, I needed a bunch of them to do all the reviews. And at the end of the Canadian one, I still had a bunch left. Which is why I'm using three of them to do the American versions of the flavor base. But I'm still going to have two boxes left over. I haven't heard anything that uh, Kraft is going to expand this flavor boost thing in the near future. But if they do, I think we should have a say so in what type of flavors they might come up with. And I'm not saying they should just rehash the flavors that the Canadians already did. Because they've shown for the ranch of the pizza that they're willing to do other things other than what they've already tried in Canada. So with that being said, I had the idea in mind that with the two boxes that I had left, I would try to concoct two new flavors and I'm going to give myself some parameters. The packet is about one ounce. So the total amount of flavoring that I add has to be around one ounce. And I'm going to try to do my best to keep everything dry and packageable on um, like one of these little sachets. sachets. So dehydrated things, um, powdered, ground up things. That's what I'm going to try to limit myself to. I'm going to give myself some leeway, uh, knowing that like I have an ingredient that could be dehydrated and, pow and powderized, um, but if I can, I'm going to get all pre-dehydrated and powderized things. Uh, still thinking about the two flavors I'm going to attempt to make. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Um, suggestions as to what the uh, like what the overall flavor of the box should taste like and suggestions as to like what ingredients that should be added to achieve those flavors. I only got two shots of this because I only got two boxes left and I'm not going to go out and buy more boxes just for this. This is just really an idea to get rid of those two boxes that I already have. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any comments and suggestions below. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that.